Hello and welcome to Nigel's workbench. On the table today we have my Checkmate A1200 and we have here the Pi Storm 32 Lite with a Model B Raspberry Pi fitted. So what I'm going to do here, I've got a right angled adapter that I'm going to plug into the Raspberry Pi. then goes into the expansion port on the 1200 which gives us the output there so the main thing I need to do is work out how to get um, let me zoom out how to get the output out the back here somewhere so at the moment the only thing I can come up with is this ribbon cable which can be plugged in there, can be plugged in there like this, and then I can double back it like that. Put the high storm 32 in there, and then hang that out the back. So, see, it comes out the back here. I need some sort of bracket here. I've got this one which I could possibly use but it doesn't seem to be a way of actually holding that in unless I use hot melt glue and of course this is uh, a female socket and I want a male socket I want an output HDMI so I still need an adapter on that to make that work um, but that will work like this, I can get it to go let me just see if the power supply will still fit with that in there that's going to be the main thing hopefully it will yeah that will that will clear that ok yeah that will be ok so that part will work the other thing I thought of doing was seeing if I could fit this inside this is a HDMI switching box this is the output so if I can have this one output there if I can have the output from the Indivision flicker fixer I could move that all this into something inside here this has got a remote control so I just need to point this bit towards the front of the case so this is all still a bit of a work in progress. It's it's working, but I need to do some refinements, I think, to make it a little bit neater. This is an extension cable for the SD slot on the Pi. Put Captain tape over the top there just to make sure it doesn't come out. And then over this side, comes out here, it's just actually wedged in there at the moment but this is where the SD card comes out so you can use an SD card or a, a micro SD card if you uh, use the adapter so it just goes in there which means you can change the Pi Storm's hard drive just by changing the SD card I think this might be the best solution at the moment. It's a short HDMI cable which will fit in on the adapter and I can just run this underneath and add the back somewhere. Like that. that will fit underneath the power supply. So this cable go on the top there and then I can plug back in the power supply right I've got everything hooked up everything I want it got the power supply back in got the floppy drive and the GoTech connected got the external um, SD card for the um, 
Pi Storm connected. Uh, this is the cable coming out the back for for the HDMI from the Pi Storm. Just testing the checkmate. see the specs I can show you um, system info Oops, wrong one. system info there we go HEA Alice 2 meg Video call 68040. If I do a speed test, this is this is me. Uh, memory 756 megabytes, 112 local public, 512 slow, 2 megabyte chip, uh, drives. One of the internal drives on the Pi Storm. You see, it's running at 17,000 million, whatever that is. Uh, what else have we got? Boards, got silo boards. Quick that. I can also show you the Pi Storm system info. You can read through there. Amigo S3.2.2, etc. And the pie itself down the bottom here somewhere. That's with Pi. Uh, that's with Pi 3 model B plus. And this is running caffeine OS, which is caffeine OS Storm 917. Tells you all on there as well. So there we go. Thank you for watching.